belts, even though the numbers were extremely obvious. If you had a seatbelt on, you would be far less likely to die or be seriously injured. It was unequivocal. And the industry fought this for years successfully. Eventually, after many, many people died, regulators insisted on seatbelts. This is a this time frame is not relevant to AI. You can't take 10 years from the point at which it's dangerous. It's too late. I, I'm not normally an advocate of regulation and oversight. I mean, I think one should generally err on the side of minimizing those things. But this is a case where you have a very serious danger to the public. And so therefore, there needs to be a public body that um, has insight and then oversight on to confirm that everyone is uh, developing AI safely. Um, this is extremely important. Um, I think the danger of AI is much greater than the, the, the danger of nuclear warheads by a lot. Um, and nobody would suggest that we allow anyone to just build nuclear warheads if they want. That, that would be insane. So why do we have no regulatory oversight? This is insane. And the intent with OpenAI is to democratize AI power. Um, there's a quote that I love from uh, Lord Acton. He was the guy that came up with power corrupts and absolute power corrupts, absolutely. Um, which is that uh, freedom consists of the distribution of power and despotism in its concentration. And so I think it's important if we have this incredible power of AI that if not be concentrated in the hands of a few and potentially lead to a world that we don't want. I'm not really all that worried about the short-term stuff, the things that are, um, not, like narrow AI is not a species level risk. Um, it, 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 will, it will result in dislocation, uh, in lost jobs and, um, it, you know, the, the sort of better weaponry and that kind of thing. But it is not a fundamental species level risk, uh, whereas uh, digital superintelligence is. Uh, so it's really all about laying the groundwork to make sure that if, if humanity collectively decides that creating digital superintelligence is the right move, then we should do so very, very carefully. Um, very, very carefully. We're rapidly headed towards digital superintelligence that far exceeds any human. I think it's very obvious.